Hello everyone and welcome to the short presentation of this little snake minigame contraption. Not being too hard to guess, the player controls the snake on the screen using those four buttons with arrows on them on the left side. As it would seem logical for a snake game, the goal in this game is to gather those little white points on the screen, which will also make your snake grow. And that's when the aspect of losing the game comes into play, because if you, as a snake in the minigame, bite yourself, then that's when you lose the game. And despite it looking like a giant spaghetti mess in your connection tool, though a very beautiful mess if I do this on myself, it's not actually that complicated if you take a step back and look at it at a smaller scale. And so to understand everything more closely, I would suggest looking at a single module, which is basically what a single pixel in this 10 by 10 display looks like. And then on the side right here, we have this little bus connecting all the different layers together. And then on the bottom part of it is where the game control is, which what it basically does is it handles the snake's movement as well as spawning the points. And so to briefly describe what this module does is right here, the blue part here, is storing the snake's position, kind of. So if the snake's position is the same as the local position of this certain pixel right here, then this memory bit will turn on and will only turn off after so many ticks have passed as the number of the length of the snake. So if the snake is three blocks long, then three ticks have to pass before this can turn off. And this part here is the point spawning. So if the new point, the position of the new point is the same as the position of this pixel right here, then this memory bit will turn on and will only turn off after either a certain number of ticks, I think it's 20, or if this memory gate is also turned on. So if this memory bit and this memory bit are both turned on, then this one will turn off, and then this here will turn on, which we are, which we are controlling right here. So basically this here will turn on whenever any single one of those gates in the entire system turns on, which basically means that we've earned a point and we can increase the length of the snake by one. Detecting collisions with the snake itself is also handled here. So if this memory bit right here is turned on and we try to turn it on again, then that means that the snake is trying to bite itself and that has to stop the game by activating this pink gate right here, which is monitored by this pink bus right here. And now you should be able to see it beautifully right here. These gates right here are the snake's position, so this is the snake's head, and this is the, let's say, ghost of the snake, which will only turn off after a certain amount of ticks has passed. Maybe if we're lucky enough, a point will spawn somewhere here. There we go, two points have spawned here. Now let's see what happens. This memory is on, and this one is on, this is on, this is on. So both turn off, and we have gained two points again. Let's see it happening. There we go. The other the game mechanic it has, which is probably the last game mechanic to talk about, is this right here. It's three clocks with different amount of ticks on them. And so the more points you have, the quicker the game will run, because the more points you have, the quicker the clock will be set to. But anyway, this seems to be everything for this little video. I hope this might have inspired someone to do something similar in Scrum Mechanic. And the other thing I hope is that you click the like button and the subscribe button so that you can help my channel out. But anyway, this is everything for today. I hope I can see you later and bye.